Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. For the past two decades, Bob Van Ronkel has been the Forrest Gump of U.S. Russia relations. He helped introduce Steven Seagal to Vladimir Putin. He helped introduce Jim Carrey to Oleg Duripaska, the now sanctioned aluminum tycoon. Then there were Jack Nicholson, Sean Penn, Woody Harrelson, Lara Flynn Boyle and more, all making visits to Russia Van Ronkel was even there when Donald Trump's Miss Universe pageant visited Moscow. Van Ronkel runs Doors to Hollywood, a company that brings American celebrities to Russia and other parts of the former Soviet Union. If an actor or musician traveled to Russia to hobnob with Putin or wealthy Russian oligarchs such as Dury Pasca, chances are he was involved. I was hired to bring Steven Seagal to perform with his band for another event with President Putin, so kind of was responsible for that introduction, and Steven becoming best friends with him, Van Ronkel told NPR over dinner in Orange County, California, where he happened to be visiting. Ciro Orsini, a friend of Seagal's for more than 30 years, confirmed that Van Ronkel put Seagal and Putin in touch. Making this and other connections were his business for the years he shuttled between his base in Moscow and the west coast of the United States, building bridges between Russia's elite and the show business world. That's why Van Ronkel had a front row seat to the 2013 Miss Universe pageant when Trump visited Moscow. Van Ronkel's life in Moscow exemplified the way powerful Russians sought to use celebrities to bolster their images and how Russian oligarchs sought relationships with celebrities as a public mark of true wealth. In some cases, it's still paying off. Seagal, star of Under Siege and other action classics, has been one of the most vocal supporters of Putin's regime, for anyone to think that Vladimir Putin had anything to do with fixing the election, or even that the Russians have that kind of technology, is stupid, Seagal said on British television last year.